Hello everyone, today's video I am going to show you how to make this effect. Inside the Adobe Premiere Pro, so let's get started. Here I'm using this clip. I just start talking, then reacting like that. And I take a picture of the empty room. Then I move to the computer room. Again I take a picture of my desk. Now I just sitting on the chair and acting as I moved from somewhere. And I recorded all of these clips on a tripod. So for the first clip, I just cut a few frames here. Then move the time indicator first frame of the picture. And I'm going to cut 8 frames here. Click Ctrl plus K to make a cut. Then delete the last part. Now place this picture over this clip. And move the time indicator last frame of the video clip. And move 5 frames to the left side. Then move the picture here. Let's zoom in the timeline, so you can see it properly. Now I'm going to animate the picture, like smoothly vanish here. So move the time indicator first frame of the picture, and select it. Then move over to the effect controls tab. Under the opacity effect, make a keyframe on the opacity. And make the opacity 100 to 0. Then move 5 frames to the right side. Again make it 100%. Now the animation will be like that and I'm vanishing here smoothly. Now select the second picture. Again cut 8 frames from the first frame. Click Ctrl plus K to make a cut here. And delete the last part. Now move this picture here. Then select the second video clip, and put it under the second picture. Move the time indicator last frame of the second picture. And move 5 frames to the left side. Now move this video here. Then select this picture, and make a keyframe on the opacity. Move 5 frames to the right side, and make the opacity 0. So the animation will be like that. And it's perfect for me. Now we are going to use a shockwave preset. You can download 40 shockwave presets under the description link. Then add it to the timeline. As we can see it's playing very slowly. So we have to speed up this shockwave. Right click on it, select speed and duration. And speed up 600%. And click OK. Now move it to the top of the first picture. And we have to remove the black background. So select this shockwave, and go to the effect controls tab. Then change the blend mode, normal to subtract. So it changed the color of white to black, and the black to transparent. Now let's increase the size 200. Then adjust the position, where you think it looks perfect. Now hold on ALT key, and drag it to the top of the second image. And adjust the position for the second shockwave. Again I'm going to duplicate these shockwaves to the top track. This time set the scale size 100. Again duplicate the second shockwave, and set the scale size 100. And we are almost done. Now we are going to add the whoosh and hit impact sound effects. You can download 200 plus whoosh and hit impact sounds from the description link. Now let's see the final preview. So that's it for today. If you enjoy this tutorial, please give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions, please feel free and ask me on Instagram. I'll see you in the next one. Have a nice day.